College is meant to be a time for learning, a time when high school graduates transform into young men and women who are ready to change the world. Transformation is one of the key words in the Providence College mission statement, along with terms like enlighten and growth. One member of the class of 2017 who exemplified all three of those words is Nick Saylor, a sociology and women's studies double major who also happened to be captain on the men's soccer team during the most successful runs in program history. It was the opportunities and campus environment that attracted Nick to Providence College early on. I actually visited the school just because I was around the area and I, I came on a tour and I just, I really liked it. There was just something about this place that had a certain feel, a certain atmosphere. While he did want to come here to play soccer, that was not a guarantee, as head coach Greg Stewart recruited him merely by chance. At the time, I didn't really know the coach. I think I actually emailed the coach and he didn't get back to me. I don't think they were really interested in me before uh, Coach Stewart was the head coach. Yeah, my first impressions of Nick were when I went, I was recruiting down in Connecticut and I went to see his team play. And he was actually injured at the time, so while his team were competing on one field, Nick was actually doing some rehab work on the opposite field. And obviously I was there to watch the game, but I kept looking over to see Nick because just the way he was going about his business in terms of his, his kind of work ethic, his effort, and his determination clearly to come back from that injury. While pursuing excellence on the soccer field, Nick was pursuing excellence in the classroom. While majoring in sociology, Nick decided to minor in black studies. It turns out that was not enough, as Dr. Abigail Brooks pointed out that he elected to do something that no other student has ever done at Providence College. Nick Saylor is our first male women's studies major who's graduating from Providence College. I mean, he's also a double major with sociology, a minor with black studies. He is so incredibly impressive in all that he's done. Of course, in addition to being an amazing soccer player and also a musician, a poet, a writer outside of the classroom. But yeah, being the first women's studies male major is a wonderful, exciting deal for us as a women's studies program. Those kind of majors and, and those studies help me think broader about what really is going on. And I think that's something that's so important because we kind of get caught up in me, me, me or the individual, but you don't really take the time to to think broader, and I think that's something that I am really grateful for. His four years at Providence College now nearly over, Nick and those around him reflect on how much his time on Smith Hill has changed him, and how much he has changed those on campus. Being a grad from Providence College is, is, is something that you got to be grateful for. I think in my four years, we've been a part of something very historic. Being part of the Centennial class with just not only athletics, but just there's been a real transformation here. When he came in, after that initial first visit, we got to know him a little bit about his personality, and his character. Um, I think we knew then that this kid has a lot more potential than just what you see on the soccer field. You know, he's a team captain for us, he ran the SAC president this past year, really involved in the school community. I am just so envious of those who are going to get to benefit from Nick's gifts in future years and so happy for them. I shouldn't say envious, but I'm just a bit sad that we're losing him here at PC, but I'm so excited for him. Up next for Nick is Teach for America in Baltimore, Maryland. He'll teach in classrooms and educate the next generation of great minds and thinkers, passing along his enthusiasm and hunger for learning. Looking back, I think I got the most out of my experience here in Friartown and I think I'm just ready to take what I learned and you know, share it with other people. One thing that I'm excited about being a teacher in Baltimore next year and the thing that I got most out of Friartown is that who you are and, and what you become, you've got to share it with other people. Going forward, I have to do whatever I can to, to make the next person feel loved and, and have great experience, whatever that is. So if it's teaching, if it's coaching, if it's another job, whatever it is, it's, it's for the, the better good of everybody else because I think that's something that Friartown really instilled in me is just, you know, looking out for the next person and, and making their time great.